By 1918, all but one of my close friends were dead. That is a quote from J.R.R. Tolkien, and of course, one of those good friends was Jeffrey Bage Smith, the author of this poem I'm going to read today. Hello and welcome to Liam's Lyceum. I'm your host, Liam, aka Himbar, and today I have another Poetry Thursday video for you. Okay, so I haven't done one of these in a couple weeks, even then, since I've been back making videos. It just, I just haven't found the opportunity to make a Poetry Thursday video. Though, of course, I've wanted to. I could probably make one of these for a week uh, for probably a couple of years. Anyways, I do have a poem that will be just short today that I want to share with you. So you can find Smith's poetry in this compilation of his poetry published about 100 years ago called The Spring Harvest. It is very adequately titled since, of course, we don't harvest stains in spring, really, which is a reference to his young death. He died at the Battle of the Somme during the Great War in December of 1916. Jeffrey was one of J.R.R. Tolkien's best Best friends. He was a member of the TCBS from King Edwards. He also went to school at Oxford with Tolkien. Now, I don't really want to focus on his relationship with Tolkien, but that's how I know of him. But I will recommend his poetry in general. I'm just going to share a very short one real quick. And there's actually a quote, a note even, that Jeffrey wrote to Tolkien after he had been injured and before he passed, because he got injured and a few days later he passed. And so I'll just read that note real quick for those who are interested. My chief consolation is that if I am scuppered tonight, there will still be left a member of our school group to voice what I dreamed and what we all agreed upon. For the death of one of its members cannot, I am determined, dissolve the group. Death can make us loathsome and helpless as individuals, but it cannot put an end to the immortal four. May God bless you, my dear John Ronald. And may you say things I have tried to say long after I am not there to say them, if such be my lot, yours ever, GBS. That gets me every time. And so the poem I decided to read, which you will see by the title of the video, is a poem that does not have a title. It seems to be titled here by the first line. So it is called, It Was All in the Black Country, and I'll read that real quick. It was all in the black country, what time the sweet of the year should be. I saw a tree all gaunt and gray, as mindful of a winter's day. And that a lonely bird did sit upon the topmost branch of it, who to my thought did sweeter sing than any minstrel of a king. So just eight short lines, very good with meter and rhyme. Of course, I won't really go into that. I just wanted to really just go into the imagery he invokes there, because he makes it sound like that he's seen a dead tree and there's a bird of singing in it. Makes me think it's spring, but he does invoke winter with the leafless tree as well. And... It's really sweet that uh, he, you know, put into his art that love of nature, um, just like Tolkien did. And so, I mean, it basically, I mean, he even says that the bird singing was sweeter than any, any minstrel that would even sing to a king. And I just think that imagery is awesome. You know, with eight lines, I get this image of a tree with a bird singing in it. You know what I mean? Likely a dead tree in my mind. And I also get a quick glimpse of a minstrel singing to a king. And so... Anyways, I just, this is actually, that's actually the poem that's shared on the back of A Spring Harvest, at least in my version. So there are some really good po poems in here. In fact, I don't know, I've shared it before that a lot of times I write my own poems after reading a poem or two by some other authors. And one of those authors that I often look to for inspiration is Jeffrey Bage Smith. I really enjoy this collection. I can't remember how expensive or cheap it is, but I believe I did get this on Amazon. So, and there seems to be several versions of it um, throughout the years since its original publication is, which was in June of 1918. Anyways, that is a short poem. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you will pick up some of Jeffrey Bage Smith's other poems. And you know, I really do feel like that he does a fantastic job of showing his soul and expressing it very beautifully. Anyways, this has been Liam from Liam's Lyceum, and I will catch you next time.